hello everyone more so hi to the ladies i hope you're all doing well i'm working on washed hair i have not applied any products i'm dampening my hair with water and after that i detangle i prefer working on damp hair i'll be using the maximum hold styling gel by soft and free make sure you take the maximum hold one it retails for 47 rand at cosmetic connection i'm only using the wax to help define my line Its consistency is similar to that of Eco Styler Gel. The only problem you might have with this is the scent. It's very strong. I applied the gel in sections. I open a line, apply, comb through, and repeat. I did add water when needed. If you have tried Isoplus and it doesn't work for you, this gel will. This gives maximum hold. To all the ladies who have been suggesting this gel, I get it, sis. It works and there were no flakes. I will continue using my Isoplus because it works for me and it's not as expensive. The only reason I'm trying out different gels is because I'm always coming across comments asking for different gel recommendations. So I'm doing this for the ladies who don't use Isoplus. But if you can get this gel, do try it out, it's amazing. I sectioned hair out to design my edges. This is optional. It's a great camouflage for a thin hairline like mine. I brushed the hair in position using a nail brush and the afro comb. I used both interchangeably. Don't worry about the excess residue, it doesn't leave any white patches. Once done on this side, I did the same on the other side. To lay my edges, I first map the design out and then I create the final look. This is easier when using wax or edge control because of the thick consistency. With gel, it is more challenging because it is very watery, but it's still doable. I started styling my hair at 8.30 a.m. I rushed through this because I had load shedding at 10 a.m. I did the same on the other side and then I wore my dog. A silk-like scarf at the base and two cotton ones on top of that. This hair was 100 rand at a local no-name hair store. I used 20 strands for each braid and mixed the hair with my old sublime hair because the pack doesn't come with a lot of hair. That thick strand is sublime. When creating the braid, braid in strands from the shorter end with the longer end to avoid being left with too much hair to cover the base. It will be too bulky and you'll have to redo it or cut it like I did. These bangles were 5 rand each. The braid goes through the loophole, the bangle. 
you place the bangle like so. Place the next bangle right behind it, leaving an opening that will allow you to pull the tail through. After that, you pull it out to the other side. So it's basically in from the back and out from the front. The bangle that you pick up always goes behind the one already on the braid. So you repeat the process until you reach the end of the braid. This is the second time I'm creating this tutorial. Initially, I extended the braids and created clusters of two instead of one long design. So that's also an option. Also, I recently changed cameras and I'm still trying to figure out my settings. The tones are a bit off. Please turn a blind eye to that. I'm working on it. I usually lay my hair overnight, but because I started early, I wanted to complete everything on that day. So my hair was not completely dry at the back. I suggest allowing it to dry completely to avoid flyaways and so that it doesn't lift. You can use a hair dryer. So you place the braid upside down, attach and flip it back. Wrap the hair left out around your hair, around that base. And that's about it. I went MIA for over three weeks. It was not intentional, trust me. Burnout is a real thing. Nonetheless, I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel, for sharing my tutorials and always showing up for me. I appreciate you, thank you. I'll see you on my next one. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.